Tripoli in Seabrook, New Hampshire. Now, Tripoli has five locations. We're at the Seabrook one. On social media, we reached out to you and we asked you where we can find the best beach pizza in New England. And overwhelmingly, you told us Tripoli, which is why we're here. What's more New England than beach pizza? Well, in this area, they do it a little bit different. Let's find out about it. You are one of the secret weapons. No, the only secret weapon is our product and our dedicated workers. All our customers love us because of our great pizza. You call it Tripoli pizza. You I refuse do. to say beach pizza. We have a Tripoli pizza. And that's why I'm here. And we put out something on social media, and overwhelmingly, people told us that we needed to try Tripoli. Of so course. I'm here to try it. You need a piece. But before I can have a piece, I gotta make a tray. So let's go backstage with Bruno. Look at that. A little One. bit more. A little more? Yeah, because right. it wasn't full enough. Wasn't full enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's good. Swing and a miss, huh, Bruno? Yeah, here you go. All right, so, oh, a little oregano. A little oregano on top. Just on the sauce? On the sauce. All right. A little hotter than it looks, Bruno. This isn't as easy as it looks, and we're not going to show you the three times I screwed it up. Just this one where I nailed it. Now that that's done, let's pop this tray of fun right in the oven. And with a little TV magic, we're ready to start throwing some cheese. And it's going back in the oven again. A little bit more. A little more. On the sides. But... I don't know, Bruno. Now we open the oven first. All right. Now that first round of cheese, well that was cheddar. And if you want extra, well you're getting a slice of provolone. And they've been doing it that way forever. I gotta say, I don't think I did a bad job. You didn't do bad at all. Look at that beautiful, give me a napkin. I'm gonna give you a piece. Look at this. I'm impressed with myself. Now you tell me, you I'll tell me how that tastes. Scorching hot, scorching hot. Wow. What do you crisp, think? Sweet sauce. Yes, it is a sweet sauce. And that is something very specific to Tripoli. Yes. The sweet sauce. Yes. So what do you think? Am I hired? That right. one was not made by you, right? No. That's pretty consistent. Good stuff. We need help. All right, well, yeah. I'll stop Monday. Consistency is king, and Tripoli is the king of consistency. Now let's not forget, we're in a bakery, and the pizza is not the only thing that's sweet here. Now let's go stuff some cannolis. If there were only two things I could have for the rest of my life, it would be cannolis and pizza. You're in the right place. I think you're right. When I was a little girl, my dad used to make sure that I put the two like this, so that as you fill it, are you seeing cheese coming? Yes, okay. All right, your turn. All the way. All the way. Yeah. I don't think I'm, I'm oh. as good at cannoli well, filling. I've had a little more experience, Steve. I think I got my groove on, Marie. You got it? I think All I figured it out. Right. Now we gotta get some of the chocolate on there. There's yeah, gotta be a tech. Just dip? You just dip. All right. Like that. Easy enough. You shake it out. Okay. What's not to love? That's the key ingredient. Love. You heard it, folks. There's a lot to love about Tripoli, and it's not just the pizza. Just don't let Marie catch you calling it beach pizza, or you'll get an Italian stick of bread across your fresh mouth. With five locations across the Merrimack Valley, all you gotta do is find one, and hopefully, it's the one with Marie. <laughs>